All right, Shalom. I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechaha Kodash. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. A sincere Shalom Labakarium, Shah Yasha Allah, that's peace to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. Now, when you're looking at here, you know, I was doing some, um, a lot of chariot while watching today. The spirit was just on me heavy. You know, looking at third phase moon, um, in thin air, you know, this is uh, MR33BB. I <laughs> hate the name of his channel so long. You know, just a lot of um, chariots are being sighted right now. You know, and this is a, this is a shot, you know, from the airlines. <clears throat> so people are on these planes, these commercial planes, and they looking over and they seeing all kind of objects in the air. And you know it's heating up because we're getting closer and closer to Yahweh Shah's return. You know, these are the vehicles, as we're going to show you in the scripture, these are the vehicles, these are the chariots of the angels. So as World War III pick up, the, the, the MOTB, which is the mark of the beast, the RFID chip that they're going to force, you know, make mandatory that you put a device in your hand to operate on a new system. As these things take place on planet Earth, perplexity of the nations, right? The, the, the sea war that's about to break out, you know, <laughs> nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom, you know, your own family betraying you, your loved ones coming against you, you know, job loss, you know, um, men and women running around planet Earth as pilgrims. As all this is happening, the, the chariots is the liveliness of the chariots because they always are around us but them showing themselves is, is, is going to be on a frequent scale <clears throat> that's why you have all these videos you know and it's very aggressive to where people are just looking out the window of their airplane which is a beautiful view as you can see the sky and they just seeing all these vehicles out there you know as they call ufos and they can't explain it you know the um FBI not answering questions, the Pentagon not answering questions, NASA, never a straight answer. They not answering questions, but we got your answers. <laughs> we got your answers. These are the vehicles of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. The, the angels actually travel in these vehicles when you go into Ezekiel. And when you go right over here, we're gonna just start it with this scripture here. You know, it's one of my favorite scriptures, you know, in this in, in the book. This is uh Revelations 1 verse 7 The whole chapter You know, but um, this point Because we in the time When all the destruction is happening This is what it's leading to The return of our Lord Yahweh It says, behold He, speaking about Yahweh Now the world calls him Jesus Christ That's not his name If you got into a time machine and went back 2,000 years ago, asked for Jesus They'll look at you like you was crazy the J didn't come into an, an invention mode into the um, the 16th century. Okay? You know, when you go into the transliteration of what the angel Gabriel told Mary she should name her son. Matter of fact, let's get it real quick. Let's get it real quick so we can get some understanding here. You know, because you got to get the name straight. You got to. You got to know who you're calling on. You got to know who's about to visit this earth, who's about to take this kingdom down. You got to be fully aware of what's happening out here. You know, this is um, Matthews 1 and 21. It says, and she, this is Mary, shall bring forth a son, a male child, and thou shall call his name. Now, you do see Jesus in here. This is put in here for a reason. You know, and they capitalize all the letters on this one. They call his name Jesus for he, this is the omen of the name, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now, who was the Lord's people? The Israelites. He was from the tribe of Judah, Hebrews 7 and 4. But let's go into this word real quick. We got to do this. This is who's coming back. When you go into that, Jesus is what? You don't see a J. Strong's G twenty four twenty four, Jesus, Jesus. And here they put Jehovah, what's well, supposed to be Yahweh, which is his father's name, 
is salvation. That is not what his name means. It's, as you can see here, they put this here. We're going to go into this. Yahweh Shawai. Yahweh Shawai. But it's not Yahweh Shawai. It's Yahweh Shai. And they know this. They know it's Yahweh Shai. Now, when you go down to the uh, the Strong's, right? The Greek lexicon, you're going to see Yahweh Shai. And they got the uh, the the updated version, which is not Yahweh Shai, but they put Jesus there. You know, G and Sus. You know, go into the Latin to see what that means. It means pig earth. Okay? The G and the sus. You know, the two syllables. That's not his name. They put his name here, but they'll throw you off and give you this here. Yahweh Shawai. And then they give you the wrong breakdown of that. You know? But then... They'll clean it up here for those that's in the know. Yahweh Shai, which is Yah He. That's the that's the smallest character of the of the Hebrew alphabet. Hawashai, which is Savior. Okay, the same name as you know Joshua. When you go into it, you know as you can see Joshua had the same name. You know. See, they put it. Yahweh. This is the Lord's name, Yahweh. Okay, which means in existence or to be present, life, living. You know, Yah, Yashai. As you can say, Yashai means to save, to be saved, deliver. Okay. Same name as uh, Hosea, too. So you got Yahawashai. That's his name. Now, why would they uh, give you a wrong translation? Because they don't want you to be close to, uh, to, to, to your Lord. If you're an Israelite, they keep you in the dark. They throw you off. But do the blessings of the Holy Spirit, we got the name. So we got the name right. We got the Father name, which is Yahweh, and we got... Yahweh Shai, okay, which means he saves, as you can see. Yahweh Shai save, deliver, okay. So now when we got that out the way, let's go back because you're gonna you, people gonna want to know who's in these vehicles. This is Revelations one and seven. Behold, he cometh with clouds. Now, these clouds that you're seeing, <clears throat> a lot of them are are disguised chariots. Because when you go into um, songs, just give me a second. We're going to get into that video. You know, Baba Gasha. When you go into songs here, right? 104, is it 104, verse 3, it says, Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters, right? Which is the, the um, Shemayim. You know, Mayim is water, Shemayim is heavens, which that sky, the firmament, is a water, okay? Who maketh the clouds, that's in that firmament, his chariots. So a lot of these clouds are staged, you know, they set up to disguise or cloak those these what you call UFOs. Some of the UFOs are just, just transformed right into a cloud. You should see all the UFOs I was seeing today and they hiding right in the clouds. Who walketh upon the wings of the wind. And when you go deep into the, 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 the wind spins like a wing. So it says, Revelations 1 and 7, Behold, he cometh with the clouds. So them clouds that he's talking about is not the actual water cloud, but the chariots. The chariots. The what you call UFO, the ships. And every eye, as you're going to see this video here, shall see him. Now people are looking up. People are razzled and dazzled on what they're seeing. But it's going to be announced when our Lord get here. That's with this whole confusion with Russia, America, Israel. This is all leading to this. The second coming of our Lord. 
and they also which pierce him. Now that's a heavy part right there. The Christians can't break that down. The Roman Catholic Church is not breaking that right there. That little preset right there. And they also which pierced him. You can't skip that. What does that mean? Because they pierced our Lord 2,000 years ago. How is the people that pierced him 2,000 years ago are going to see him now in the 21st century? Because of reincarnation. Reincarnation exists. Those same spirits, actually that whole generation is here today. You can't kill the spirit. The spirit is energy. The body goes to the dirt. Right? Let me just get that real quick. And the spirit returns back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh who gave it to be uh, regenerated back into the earth again. This is Ecclesiastes 12, verse 7. Then shall the dust return to the earth, which is your body, as it was. And the spirit, see that, which is fire, heat, shall return unto, they got God here, but it's Yahweh who gave it. And that spirit comes back for judgment. And a whole new body, a new flesh. Okay? So, and they also which pierce him, so they're back here in new flesh. They're going to get their payback. And all kindreds, right? All kindreds, which are, which are nations of the earth shall well because of him. Even so, amen. So, it's about to be a lot of crying for the iniquity and their sins and what our Lord is bringing. He's not bringing joy when he comes. Our Lord is going to be furious because of the condition of the earth and the rulership under you Edomites. The Lord is taking you down. That's why you got activity like this. Watch. And we'll, we'll go back as well. We'll look at the one minute. Look at him morphing in and out. What is that? Oh my God. Every eye shall see him. I know what some of you are going to be saying, right? It's the reflection on the window. Is it? No, it's not. Because you. No, it's not. It's definitely not the, the reflection of the window. Like, what is this thing here? Okay, what, what time are we up to? What time are we up to? One twenty. Okay, so something's going to fly past in a minute as well. Um, did she say left to right? This well, Earth, know. it's way more chariots. He going to catch another one up here. It's way more chariots than what's being revealed that's in these clouds. But this is what the Lord allowed them to catch because our Father, you know, is investigating. This Earth is going through something called an inquisition. Which is in a thorough investigation. But there's chariots all around. There's chariots over me right now. There's chariots over you right now. You know, all things are not for the visibility. But when the Lord do show you, you know, an armada <laughs> of chariots, man. That's to be praised. Because people don't know what's over their head. There's an invasion that's about to happen. Our Lord about to get busy, man. This is like what I would imagine the, the, the cloaking that these UFOs could do. Look, it's gone. It's gone, mate. The whole thing's gone. They, they're in the clouds. Mate, what is that? This has got to be one of them. I don't know why you've not released this before. We've now released it, so well done. Until you come back out. Is it a reflection? It's not a reflection. It's not. My mind's trying to tell me it's a reflection just to try to sort of debunk it. It's not a reflection because it's not... 
it's not moving as she's moving the camera, right? She's moving the camera and staying where it is. If it was a reflection, it would sort of, it would do that. Yep, mate. Look at that view as well, man. What they... The world ain't ready for what they about to see, man. You know, we've been blessed. Imagine if it just... You know, Akim Agwaf to understand what was about to happen and possibly be a part of the salvation because the, 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 the world ain't ready, man. Tell you, hearts felling for the sight of what they're witnessing. You know, this is, um, this is, uh, let me see. Salvation, head out of the house of the wicked. Right, right. This is, uh, Habakkuk 3, verse 16. When I heard my belly trembled. This is Habakkuk. He going through the. When you read the whole third chapter. This is the nuclear destruction, the, the 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 UFO showing up. You know, he's seen people being burnt. He even received spiritual power to get away. He didn't even understand it. The Lord made his feet like hinds feet. You know, but this is what he said. He says, "When I heard my belly trembled, my lips quivered at the voice." Rottenness entered my bones And I trembled in myself That I might rest in the day of trouble Meaning he didn't want to come back In the reincarnation uh, 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 part of it Because it was going to be so terrible in this day So he just wanted to stay and rest Basically asleep When he cometh up unto the people He will invade them with his troops And what you're looking at this is a military, you know, that's why it's called the Lord of Sabaoth or the Lord of hosts, which is the Lord of heavenly armies. There's an army that's about to move on the um, United States uh, Space Force, their Air Force. You know, there's submarines about to be invaded, you know, ground troops. There's an invasion that Habakka saw, you know, he saw this day. And it's going to be dark And it's going to be brutal And it's going to be fast But it's going to be a lot of blood Look at him mate It's a UFO It's a bloody UFO And I'm going to show you a clip a minute Of this pilot Right Ugh, Mate What in there Finding this, mate. Well done. Wonder what happens right at the end. I haven't seen the end. Was that something again down here? Hang on. All right, so they're everywhere. You know, you can go over here to his channel. You know, this was a really good video. You know, he got it. Pilots on here, everybody see different clips. You know, this is um his channel right here. What's this? Casper Sight. Okay, you know, you check this video out, you see the name, new UFO video clips you haven't seen before. You know, the world ain't ready, man. I suggest you go check this video out. Yeah, because he got a lot of clips in here, and I mean some stuff, and go over to the third phase of moon too. And they had something serious, man. So these ships are showing up in different size, different shapes, and they taking over the airspace because we're getting ready. You know, the Lord is about to bring second address six and nine to pass. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow. How do you think this is going to happen? Marching? Voting? No. It's going to be a takedown. The Lord is going to have to take this man down. There's nothing we can do. So we got to sit back and wait till the Lord make a move. And as you can see, the Lord is making his move. So while you just figuring it out about World War III, you just putting it together about Jacob's trouble, the whole four elect looking up, man, giving all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaha Kwadash, 
Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. A sincere Shalom, Labakurium, Shah, Yasha Allah. That's peace of the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom.